Wooden stud. Pipe. Metal stud. Pipe again. Let's see if we get that pipe to dance. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That is really cool. You guessed it. Today we are looking at the Wallbot DIY Plus. This one's going to be for my Android phone. So let's get to a quick unboxing. Let's set it up and test it out. Here's our Wallabot DIY Plus wall scanner. I'm really excited because this actually shows us what is behind our walls. Let's do a quick unboxing. All right, so here is our unit. I'm really excited. We are going to pair it to our cell phone. Inside, I also have what looks like a few, well, cables. And this is a, what I was looking for, my set of directions. Let's check it out and see how we work this. First things the directions tell us to do is go to the app store and download the Wallabot DIY app. So let's do that. Once this is done, we will install it, of course, and set it up. After you install the app and verify your account, you're supposed to tell the app which Wallabot you have. And then mine tells me to take these little tiny plastic things off. You just gotta pick at it for a little while, I guess, and they're supposed to peel right off. Little persistence and I was able to be successful, at least on that one. Now I'm gonna peel off the bottom. The next step is we're supposed to attach our phone to the Wallabot with this included gel tab. It's sticky on both sides. It's supposed to be reusable and washable. In the commercial that I saw, they didn't actually need this part. So I'm wondering if that's just something they have to hook them together, but you don't really need it. Next step is actually, after I stick that together, is hooking the cables together. So I'm gonna use a USB-C connection to a micro USB. Once I hooked in my cable, it tells me or asks me if I want the Wallabat to access the device's location. I guess I'll click OK. We're connecting to the Wallabot itself and we are connected. You can choose to add a warranty if you want. Now it's going to walk us through a few tutorials and... I guess we'll see what happens. Before we go any further, if you're new here, my name is Jeff and this is Jeff Reviews For You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now let's get right back to reviewing the Wallbot DIY Plus. We have our makeshift wall ready. You can see that I have a PEX pipe here and that is filled with water. It's not under pressure, it's just filled. I've got a stud here, a stud here, and a stud on the end. This stud here on the top half, I have this metal plate there. I do have a wire running through here, so I'm excited to see what is detected with the Wallabot DIY Plus. It's time to attach the reusable sticky tab. I've already taken the plastic protection off the one side, just like the nano tape. I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Now the directions don't tell us this, but it feels just like the nano tape, so that's what I'm gonna do. And now to attach my phone. I'm gonna push and hold. I'm using the Galaxy Note 20, and as you can see, it's bigger than the Wallabot. So what I'm concerned about is I'm not able to see that little line right there, and that line means that's the center of a stud line, and so I guess it sort of corresponds with my camera, so I'm just gonna note that, but for me, in my case, the phone's actually bigger than the Wallabot. So what we're gonna do is we are going to set this up. Right now, I'm gonna click Stud Wall. We're gonna do just regular drywall. And now we have to calibrate. And because we're doing construction safety, I've got my construction gloves on. Calibrate on the wall. We're just doing big circles until it tells us we are done. It just told us calibration was successful. We're gonna click on images and scan our wall. All right, so we know there's a stud here on the end. Let's see if it's, yep, there it is, that's cool. In the middle, I have a pipe. Oh, there, it detected my pipe. That's pretty sweet. Now down here, I should have another wood stud. There you go. Let's go up top to see the stud up here because remember, I have that covered with a metal. 
Yep. So you can see now it's a different color stud because it says metal stud. Now I'm interested to see what it does on the wire side. So here we go. Nothing detected yet. Oh, there's the wire. Let's see if I can move it. Well, that's pretty cool. And let's keep going. There's my other stud. Pretty neat so far. Except that the sticky thing just fell off the back. Remember that we selected the picture mode, so we actually get to see at least an outline of what is behind the wall. Now, if we were to use expert mode, you see something completely different. Let me show you. So instead of seeing that pipe and or wire, depending on what Wallabot thinks, we see just that red, green, yellow stuff. And that's just a radio frequency detecting something behind the wall. And then the Wallabot is converting that into what it thinks the item is. Now we're gonna move across the wall to see what's there. It only lets you go from left to right. You gotta click and hold and start your scan. And then I can see all the different things in my wall. I can see a wooden stud, a pipe or a wire, and another wooden stud. Plus I can see the distance between each. That is really neat. In this video, we were looking at the Wallabot DIY Plus. So what did I think of it? Well, first things first, that price point took me by surprise, about $70, $80. That's a lot of money. I think that a lot of people will be priced out just because a stud finder is like, what, 10, 15 bucks? Then again, this does detect wires and pipes. So that's an added benefit. I really like that it linked to your phone through an app and they really tried, I think, um, having it stick to your phone. Although my first use, it just separated. And so in my opinion, they should have like some sort of a clip that makes this thing, you know, hold tight to it because that was really frustrating. The last few times I actually used it, I ended up just holding the things together without that sticky part. What didn't I like? Well, there was a lot of lag in the app. A few times the app just crashed. Sometimes I knew there was something in the wall and it just didn't detect it. I was like, wait, there is something there. I know it's there. I can see it. So it's not 100% all the time. That being said, it is cool. I like using it for finding studs and such. And I think the expert mode is kind of neat, especially if you're using it for like a plaster drywall or a lath. That way you can see if anything's behind your wall. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. Currently, I live in a 200 year old house, so I actually have lath and plaster. So let's try that out. In lath and plaster mode, it's only gonna detect or tell you if it detects something. It does not tell you what it is. So evidently it's detecting something behind this wall there, but now over here it does not. See how that, that works? A little less precise than if you just had a drywall wall. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Wallabot DIY Plus. You know what? I think that it would be awesome if you marked up your walls, showed your studs, and then used your nail force, the works products. It's a nail gun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that right over here, and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.